All righty. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This might be the biggest update Russ has ever seen of 2024. We're going to check out the staging branch and some of the updates that are coming. This update is so big. Face Punch made a staging server for creators. Some of them I've seen a little bit. I've seen a little bit with, uh, you know, some controversial stuff, some maybe potentially overpowered stuff, but there's a lot of great quality of life changes. There's a lot of cool, like balancing updates. So the first thing we're going to check out is the Bradley scientists. Bradley will soon have some new behavior long and short. Once you attack Bradley enough, basically it just smokes himself. And then four NPCs, four blue scientists come out. But honestly, these guys are useless. Like you can kill them with a bow, but the biggest thing is a smoke, I guess. So I think the only thing that really nerfs this is, I don't know, maybe like trying to take it with bows or something. If you were taking it with bows or crossbows, if you were taking it with uh, nades, if you were to also maybe take it from ticket, it might be nerfed a little bit. But other than that, it doesn't seem like it's going to change much. But this one is absolutely huge. This is a great update for everyone that loves to do oil, that loves cargo, everything that has to do with one. When, wh where did I, where did I get cut off? Where did I get cut off? Anyways, this cargo update is very huge because uh, now you can actually counter it. Uh, anyone that loves oil, anyone that loves cargo, anything to do with water is a huge, huge update for sure. The harbor has been reworked and is now part of the cargo ship event. So harbor is huge now too. There's a new layout. There's a, a lot of hiding spots that they added and stopping into dock as part of its normal control. The cargo ship stays at harbor for about eight minutes. So for eight minutes, you will have guaranteed PVP basically in this monument. So I think harbor will be like the new launch site. During this time, two cranes load a total of four containers onto the ship. Containers allowing them to stow away on the... Oh, wait, you can be on the container that's going to be placed onto the cargo. Well, that's actually insane. Damn. Wait, so you can like roof camp from here and then get onto the sh uh, ship safely. That's crazy. Cargo is going to be not a like a free monument that you can just control once you get it. A lot of the times, if you get on it, no one can counter, even with a minicopter, because people are just camping on top, right? And uh, it's super hard to uh, counter with a boat. But now it's coming to land. And the oil rig changes are pretty insane as well, guys. So kind of like how um, other monuments that we've been talking about, like military tunnels, is so easy to camp. Once you're on top of oil rig, they pretty much added a different way up using water so you can go underneath the water and kind of like the underwater labs you can go up and then go up a ladder and there's a different way that you can go to oil rig so it'll be a lot harder for people that are on top of oil rig already to basically have it under control because they have to now watch the dock they have to watch the ladder if they're on small and they have to watch this ladder they have to watch for mini copters it's never going to be safe so i think i think this is a huge step in the right direction for monuments being more accessible the minigun is incoming as well. This is a huge update for PVPers as well. I don't know if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad. I'm going to have to go try it. Judging from what I've seen, it just looks like a Fortnite gun with no recoil. This is a new weapon and everyone's been asking for a new weapon. But honestly, every single new weapon we've seen in the last few years has been tier three or military weapon. For me, I'm very worried about this, but also it's very exciting, right? This is a new way to fight in this game. Nothing much else, to be honest. There's anti-cheat improvements. Alistair said a lot of work is being done behind the scenes on anti-cheat over the past and coming months. We've slowly been closing information leaks, such as networking health, blah, 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 blah. blah. Basically, they're working on it. But hopefully, you know, maybe we'll come to a day where, you know, you can play Rust a whole day without getting cheated once. Okay, here are some other things. Quality of life improvements for the electricians. Like, you've seen me place insanely ugly electrical components but they made it so that it snaps to target. So that's going to be huge. A new burlap sack models for heads, uh, more work on the first cover skin. If you guys haven't seen, I think that's it. I think that's a DLC. So basically it just makes the cupboard look a little bit more futuristic and there's going to be more bikes. I don't know if that was an April fool's joke. Cause when they, when they teased it, it was an April fool's. Okay. But that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else, right? I didn't play Easter. I don't like playing Easter. Yeah. There's not, there's not much. I'm so skeptical of this minigun, dude. Like, holy. Yo, wait a minute. What is this? There's no recoil. Wait, is this, is this work in progress? 
Wait, I'm sorry. How do we how do we reload this? Like, do we just need a backpack for this? So, okay, here's a retro tool cover we can check out. Uh, let's make a tier two. All right, here is the new t uh, tool cupboard. Wait, you can actually see through it. Oh, this is such a cool model, dude. Who made this? Wait, this is so cool. It's, it tells you if it's the king or not. It tells you the upkeep that you need. Yeah, are we at a point where we're so advanced at technology that tool cover should look like this? Okay, anyways, let's put a tier two down and see if we can reload now. What? Oh, you reload. Oh, what? The? That's so weird. You reload the item like, like a jackhammer. Wait, that's so weird. Okay, how bad is the recoil on this thing? Wait, it's so accurate. <laughs> like that's pretty straight like it doesn't have to go super straight because it shoots so many bullets wait this is this looks broken so basically if you're Ulrich now you can not get caught by the scientists and you have this thing here where you can go up and it's basically like underwater labs and I think there's scientists here too by the way if you didn't know the fastest way to climb these ladders and not get stuck is to uh hold spacebar instead of just tap. So you don't even have to you don't even have to fight that you just go here go all the way up and you're on level three already wait isn't that insane that also means if you're the one to take oil rig, need to kill the, the bottom scientists at all. So it's not just people that take mini. And so you're basically here. Oh my God, that's crazy. They basically added a whole new thing. So there is three ways out from here. Like maybe even four. What if you go, what if you go here? Oh, they opened this up. There's harbor rework. Go to harbor. Oh, cargo ship's there right now, actually. Cargo ship's right there. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Wait, that's so cool. Oh, wow. You can go all the way up here now, too. Oh, that gets transported in. You can, like, there's ladders here. You don't even need a parachute. Gosh, this is so crazy though. They changed the harbor too, then, right? Because they made this whole middle part fit an uh, entire ship. Thought it was a red crate second loaded. Oh, is it this one? Oh, maybe it is these ones. Oh, maybe it got loaded already. There's so many rat angles. Holy shit. You have to check every single one of these containers, bro. They added this bridge too. Wait, Harbor is going to be such a cool monument now, dude. Wait, Harbor is probably the most insane spot to build at because not only does cargo ship come here, right? But these things also spawn here. So wouldn't you just be king of the water if you just built here? How, how close can you build? Can you, can you build like right here? Can you build here? Can you build here? You can build here. Dude, you can literally build here. Build the base right here. <laughs> nah, man. 
Okay, what else, what else are we gonna check? Oh, we need to take, we need to check out Bradley. That's it? That's supposed to change things with the Bradley? Four military tunnel scientists. Wait, what is this? Holy moly! Holy shit! That's a flamethrower, man. <laughs> I mean... It deletes it pretty quick, though. Wait. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! <laughs> wait, you only need like 50. Wait, this is actually, wait, this is actually good. Okay, now let's try the minigun. Guys, that was the biggest waste of gunpowder I've ever seen. What? That's so bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Electricity updates, guys. So they made it so that you can lock it into... Was it shift? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, it is. I didn't even do it correctly. Oh my god, wait, that's insane. Look, look, it just it just stays. Bro. I think I think people want to know if you can use this in a car or a helicopter. And yes you can. Yes you can. Okay, I think that concludes this stream. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.